What's the cringiest thing you've seen a bride and groom do for their wedding? They made this whole scenario where the bride was like a damsel in distress and the groom was James Bond and he got on a zipline and did this whole thing to save her and then kiss her. They even put the 007 music and everything. It was brutal to watch. Not the couple. The pastor kept saying, our heavenly father. Daddy God. While marrying them. Oh daddy. Bless this couple please daddy. You know those slightly off looking Mickey and Minnie Mouses you see in NYC. Yeah. They showed up for the first dance because the bride loved Disney. The entire room was forced to watch bride and groom dance alongside a deformed Mickey and Minnie. And halfway through they switched so the bride was dancing with Mickey and the groom with Minnie. I've never seen such a strange combination of stifled laughter and horrified stares. Oh let's see. Groom changed who his best man was and didn't tell the original BM until the start of the ceremony. Bride and groom asked a guest to bartend the reception at the reception groom, dirty danced, with his stepmom, full hands on AS. Bride and groom hauled their wedding party up to do a choreographed dance to Meatloaf's Paradise by the dashboard lights but didn't give them any pre-warning or teach them the dance. That song is 8. 5 minutes long. Wedding was at a scenic boarding school campus during the summer. Guests were told dormitories were complimentary to stay in. Guests were not told there would be no bedding provided or A.C. in the building. Groom later emailed everyone who stayed in a dorm asking for money. Same bride and groom chose another friend's wedding reception as the right setting to yell at a third pair of mutual friends for not including them in their wedding party. This was all one wedding. My uncle not only brought up his daughter's ex-boyfriend in his speech but talked about their toxic relationship for a solid five minutes. I highly recommend preparing a speech before talking in front of a room full of people. Dated a girl in my 20s and went to her friend's wedding in upstate New York. In the middle of the service the minister's cell phone rang. He answered. It was God. God wanted to talk to the groom. Conversation lasted a couple minutes. Then the ceremony continued. At my cousin's wedding, they did the thing where the groom removes the bride's garter and tosses it to all the single guys. I guess none of the guys wanted to be next to be married. Because once the groom tossed the garter, no one grabbed it. It just landed on the ground a few feet in front of a crowd of motionless guys. The groom tossed the garter three times before one guy half-heartedly picked it off the ground. The bride wouldn't look at any of those guys for the rest of the night. It's such an outdated tradition. I've been to a wedding where something similar happened with the bouquet toss and all the ladies backed away when the bouquet was thrown. The DJ ended up making a joke about it though and everyone had a good, slightly awkward, laugh. The minister, or pastor, used to date the bride and gushed about how wonderful she was. Told the groom if he ever died not to worry. He'd take care of her. I was shell-shocked. I so wished I could think of a reason to ask the couple for a copy of the video of their wedding but couldn't quite find a legit one. Not wedding but engagement ceremony. They reenacted a scene from an old romantic film. About two lovers in 1800s. In front of like 300 people. This was more so the bride's family. One of my first classmates to get married, we were approximately 19, had a small reception. Mostly family and friends from high school, nothing wrong with that. They decided to auction off the garter belt. And whoever won took it off the bride. Most of us were poor college students. So the only people bidding were her dad and uncles. It was super uncomfortable. Gross. It's a tie between my sister breaking her knee, seriously, at her own wedding dancing to the Cotton Eye Joe and my stepsister having her reception at an honest to God truck stop while six months pregnant. In her defense, the food was good but wow was it weird walking through a gas station in formal wear. When I was 11 my cousin got married for the third time. I never really liked her because A. She was 37 when I was 11. We didn't have a lot in common and B. She was pretty full of herself. The wedding itself was fine. Pretty boring but fine. Then we get to the reception. We were told we had to sit down as soon as we got there. Some people found it weird but I've only been to one other wedding before this her other marriages were when I was little. No kids were allowed at her weddings so I didn't think anything of it. The bride and groom then make a huge dramatic entrance and everyone awkwardly clapped for them as they strutted around the room with actual crowns on their heads. The bride then gets the microphone and hands it to her mom and asks her to say something she loves about the bride. 
She then tells her mom to pass it on and says she wants everyone in the room to say one thing they absolutely love about the bride. Not the bride and groom. Not their relationship. Just the bride herself. It was super awkward. Her humility. Quote. I wasn't a guest. I was working the wedding. The bride got drunk and sat on some other dude's lap for two hours and flirted with him while the groom sat by himself at the head table with a defeated look on his face. This might be the most depressing one yet. Does dying on the inside count regarding the until death do us part clause? At the beginning of the reception, we all had to stand up and sing the national anthem. To be clear, this was in another country I'd never been to a wedding in before. So I thought, okay maybe this is just a tradition I've never heard of before here. Then I told this to other people. And they were all like, no. That's just really weird. Also, at that wedding the father of the groom ended his speech with what I'm sure he thought was an amazing joke. On how it's easier to build a bridge to Hawaii than to understand what a woman is thinking. It would have been awkward enough had the man not also been standing between his ex and current wife as he was delivering it. They sang their vows to each other. Neither had a singing voice. Vows were generally bat s crazy. Like submissive in the bedroom. And not asking about where she was going. The autotune microphones were a terrible idea. Their vow songs shared a chorus and it was awful and they expected the guests to sing along with the chorus. The vows singing lasted 20 minutes. Pure cringe. Bride entered to Braveheart soundtrack blasting on boombox. Civil service that lasted a few minutes starting at around 1 p.m. She leaves to same blasting Braveheart soundtrack. The mother announces that the reception starts at 5.30 p.m. There is no food and no bar. But trays of dessert bars will be served. We are also told the venue is locked until then so there is no place to wait. My girlfriend and I leave with a crowd of people to across the street to an Irish pub for drinks. A bit of a party breaks out there. We all get told to knock it off and come wait back at the venue in the hall. So we sit in the hall on the carpet for a few hours without drinks or dinner. Bride and groom arrive and enter the venue to an honor guard of floor hockey players wearing hockey jerseys and holding sticks above their heads like swords at a royal wedding. More Braveheart music of course. Place emptied out pretty quick as people either left to go back to the pub or to the fast food place a bit further away. Our dinner was lemon squares and a can of coke from a vending machine in the lobby. Funny stuff. Oh I have two, one. The bride decided to sing as she walked down the aisle. She was not a particularly talented singer. And she was singing over a Carrie Underwood song so we could all hear the original vocal track. She finished walking about halfway through the song and then stood there and sang the rest of the song at the groom and all we could do was sit there and watch. 2. Different wedding, they began the wedding with the groom playing an out of tune guitar and singing to the bride. They were sitting on chairs in front of everyone legit 400 people, and the bride was clearly uncomfortable which made everyone else uncomfortable. That wedding also included a foot washing ceremony. And when the bride put her shoes back on she tripped on her dress and fell flat on her face. They hadn't done the vows yet and the ceremony stopped for 20 minutes to deal with the nosebleed she gave herself. Invite all their Facebook friends and expect 700 people and like less than 100 show up. Uh I knew a couple who didn't specifically invite anyone. Just made like a public event on FB or somehow assumed people would know when, where it was and show up, they were confused and offended when almost nobody came. When I was at a wedding of my parents' friends. The groom tried to throw a decently sized piece of cake at the bride who moved out of the way. The cake ended up hitting my 76-year-old grandma. We all had a good laugh. But we were all cringing at the same time at the missed cake attempt. This happened right before our wedding. We were set to have my now husband's family friend that's a pastor be our officiant. I am not religious whatsoever but open to anything. My husband's late mother was a Sunday school teacher and so his family is pretty religious. Anyway, we went to the pastor's house to go over our wedding plans and everything and he asked me if I was going to center my marriage around God. The answer was no. It got awkward real fast. It became a back and forth as to why I won't accept Jesus and how awful that is. He didn't like it either we were getting married at a country club. He then refused to do the wedding. We scrambled and found our town's mayor to marry us. I made my own ceremony and wrote the whole thing from scratch. Then the day of the wedding the mayor mentioned her recent back surgery and just wanted to get this over with. 
She called my husband, Eric, multiple times, his name is Evan and she was high on painkillers so she went off script there for a bit. Have you ever watched I Now Pronounce You Chuck and Larry? Yeah she did the whole marriage as a circle script. It took everything we had not to die laughing. And that pastor, he showed up and watched the whole thing go down. We got a picture with him at our wedding. Him and his wife cropped us out of it and he made it his profile picture. This is my dad's story. He went to his friend's daughter's wedding reception. Before coming in, the bride and groom had this whole scene of them looking for each other. The guests watched it on a giant screen inside. The ceremony also was the name reveal. They changed their last name because they didn't want to be stuck to their heritage and didn't want anything to hold them back. Turns out they changed their name thinking they could erase their mountains of debt or at least hide from it. Turns out you can't live under two legal identities. I worked as a wedding videographer. This is the only bridezilla I encountered in 10 years. This girl was so self-centered she kept everyone waiting at her outdoor ceremony for more than an hour while she was pampered in the makeup chair. While she's having them redo this and touch up that, she's sort of making up her wedding vows in a very relaxed, casual manner completely inappropriate for the hundred people sweating under full summer sun waiting on her. Her aunt came in and very gently reminded her people were waiting on her and that it's been more than an hour and she threw a tantrum. Screaming. I feel like everyone's forgetting this is my day, eventually she comes out. Vows are lame and borderline incoherent. And one of the groomsmen, sweltering under coat and vest and shirt and sun, passes out from heat exhaustion. The officiant whispers to ask the couple if they should stop and make sure he's okay and she goes. Nah. He's just being dramatic. Keep going, as the couple is headed back up the aisle. An ambulance can be seen arriving to tend to the poor overheated groomsmen. Requiring every attendee to bring a date because she didn't want, sad. Lonely people on her day. Not my friends luckily but pretended to be a friend's date because she really wanted to see her cousin get married. I went to a wedding with my ex a few years back. It was one of his fraternity brother's wedding. And apparently the bride's parents were ridiculously conservative. So conservative that they have super edited versions of every song the DJ played including bleeping out the word, shots, from, shots, by LMFAO. Also, it was a dry wedding, so this rendition of the song was almost too on the nose. Bride shows up almost two hours late to her own wedding. Southern California in an open field no water no shade. She shows up and wants to get married in her yoga outfit. The groom shut it down and when she refused to change her clothes the groom decided to leave her looking stupid and they never got married. I was at a wedding when I was eight and instead of the bride and groom getting up to make their speech thanking everyone. They had done like an awards show. So the DJ opened up an envelope. Announced their names. They were handed an awards statue, a Barbie and Ken doll, and proceeded to thank everyone in the form of an awards speech. In the right hands. It would have been funny. But the bride and groom are incredibly shy by nature so it was just awkward. I'm in my 30s now and I still remember this. That sounds oddly cute, actually, but definitely cringe-worthy. Okay, so as soon as the bride and groom got out of church everyone went to congratulate them and give gifts, which usually are flowers, alcohol plus envelopes. The bride had a pen and notebook and she signed each envelope or wrote in notebook if someone didn't give her envelope. Later as we went to the restaurant where the party was about to start we waited for two hours for the pair. Turns out they made a stop during their ride to count money. As they finally got to the party they started complaining that they didn't make enough to pay for the party expenses and earn more. They only spend time only with the rich part of family. The poor tables didn't get the good cakes food. There was literally different food on some tables. I sat near our poor part of family. No meat or cakes made it to the table. Me and like seven other people didn't get forks. Only spoons why would you give fork to someone when there's only soup for them to eat right? Now. Mind you I gave them enough to pay for like 5 plates people and I helped them during preparations. I even baked a few cakes that I didn't get to eat in the end. Half of people got out after like 20 minutes. Bride called them all terrible for ruining her dream wedding. Worst wedding ever. And that is just a part of the whole wedding mess. I wish I had a car back then so I could go back home as well. As the wedding was terrible for many other reasons as well. Groom was cheap. Bride was a Karen. Holy s that's some next level cringe.